Is NVIDIA facing a similar situation like the above clip? For many years, the AI chip market has been dominated by NVIDIA for years. Their H100 GPUs are the go-to choice for many AI tasks. However, Huawei has introduced a new player, the Ascend 910C. This chip is designed to compete with NVIDIA's offerings, especially in the Chinese market. But can it really challenge NVIDIA's dominance? Let's dive in. What is the Ascend 91C? The Ascend 91C is Huawei's latest AI accelerator. It's built using a dual chiplet design, combining two Ascend 910B chips. This design aims to deliver high performance for AI tasks. In terms of raw numbers, it offers up to 800 teraflops of FP16 performance and 3.2 terabytes per second of memory bandwidth. While impressive, these figures are still behind NVIDIA's H100, which boasts nearly 4,000 teraflops in FP16 performance. In real-world scenarios, the Ascend 91C has shown promising results. Research indicates that it delivers about 60% of the inference performance of the H100. This is a significant achievement, especially considering the challenges Huawei faces with access to advanced semiconductor technologies. However, when it comes to training large AI models, NVIDIA's H100 still holds a clear advantage due to its superior performance and scalability. NVIDIA's biggest advantage isn't just its powerful hardware, it's the software that goes with it. The QD, Compute Unified Device Architecture Platform, has been in development since 2006. Today, it supports a wide range of programming libraries like CUDNN, Qblast and TensorRT, which are deeply optimized for AI workloads. More than 2.5 million developers use QD, and it powers over 25,000 GPU-accelerated applications. NVIDIA also offers the AI Enterprise Suite, which includes tools for training, deployment, security, and even Kubernetes-based management. This makes it very easy for enterprises to move from model development to production without needing to rebuild or adjust their systems. Huawei's response to CUDA is the Mindspore AI framework and the CANN software stack. Mindspore was first introduced in 2020 and supports mainstream frameworks like PyTorch and TensorFlow through adapters. However, developer adoption is still low outside China. One key issue is that Mindspore runs best on Huawei hardware, limiting its flexibility. According to multiple reports, developers have noticed performance drops or compatibility problems when trying to use Mindspore on non-Huawei platforms. Huawei has also not yet released tools on the same level as NVIDIA's Insight Profiling Tools or the Triton Inference Server, which makes performance tuning and model serving more difficult. A strong developer community helps software improve faster. NVIDIA benefits from a large, global base of researchers, engineers, and open source contributors. There are thousands of online tutorials, GitHub repositories, and community forums focused on CUDA and NVIDIA tools. Huawei, on the other hand, is still building its developer ecosystem. Most of the documentation for Mindspore is in Chinese, which makes it harder for international users to adopt. As of late 2024, Huawei had around 3,000 open source contributors on Mindspore-related projects, compared to over 100,000 contributors across NVIDIA-related projects on GitHub. Without a large and active global community, software support, bug fixing, and third-party integration remain limited for Huawei's platform. The Huawei Ascend 910C is estimated to use between 450 to 600 watts, depending on workload and cooling configurations. This range puts it slightly below NVIDIA's H100, which can go up to 700 watts at peak usage. For data centers, especially those operating at large scale, this kind of difference matters. Even a 100 watt reduction per chip can add up to significant energy savings when running thousands of units. Lower power usage can also mean less heat output, which can reduce the need for aggressive cooling systems, another area where costs can be reduced. Looking at power efficiency, it's useful to compare how much performance each chip delivers per watt. The Ascend 910C offers around 800 FP 16 teraflops, meaning at 600 watts, it provides roughly 1.33 teraflops per watt. NVIDIA's H100 can deliver up to 3,958 teraflops, with sparsity enabled at 700 watts, which works out to around 5.65 teraflops per watt. 
This shows that although the 910C is more power efficient in a general sense, it still lags significantly in raw performance efficiency. So while Huawei's chip draws less energy, it also delivers less compute power in return. Power use affects not only electricity bills, but also infrastructure requirements. Data centers often spend a lot on cooling, and higher power chips mean more heat. Since the Ascend 91C runs at a slightly lower power range, it may help operators save on cooling costs, especially in hot regions or facilities with limited cooling systems. However, the dual chiplet design of the 910C might complicate this benefit. Chiplet-based hardware can generate more uneven heat patterns and may need custom cooling setups. That adds some complexity and might reduce the cost advantages for large-scale setups. Another important factor is how energy efficiency interacts with system latency. The Ascend 91C uses a dual chiplet layout, which connects two processing units on a single package. While this design helps Huawei boost computing power, without advanced chip-making tools, it also introduces latency between the chiplets. Some estimates suggest this interconnect is 10 to 20 times slower than the tight internal connections of NVIDIA's monolithic H100. This latency can affect AI tasks that rely on fast memory access and synchronized processing. So even though the 910C might use less power, the design could slightly slow down certain AI workloads, especially inference tasks where timing is crucial. Due to US export restrictions, companies in China can no longer easily access NVIDIA's top-tier AI chips like the H100 and A100. These bans have pushed Chinese firms to find local alternatives, and Huawei has stepped in to fill that gap. As of early 2025, Huawei holds around 12% of China's AI accelerator market, mainly through its Ascend series. The 910C chip is being used in domestic AI clusters like DeepSeek R1, a large language model platform. Other Chinese tech giants like iFlyTech and China Mobile are adopting Ascend chips to reduce their dependency on U.S. technology. This domestic demand gives Huawei a stable customer base, even though its global presence remains small. Outside of China, Huawei still struggles to expand in the AI chip market. One major issue is the lack of support for Huawei's software stack, especially when compared to NVIDIA's CUDA ecosystem. Global developers are reluctant to switch because it would mean rewriting or retraining models, which takes time and money. Another challenge is Huawei's blacklisting in several countries, which limits its ability to sell hardware or partner with international cloud service providers like AWS or Google Cloud. On the other hand, NVIDIA's chips are used in 92% of global data center AI workloads with strong integration into all major AI platforms. Until Huawei can build stronger international trust and more compatible tools, its reach outside of China will likely remain limited. Huawei is currently working on the next chip in the series, the Ascend 91D. Expected to launch in late 2025, the 91D is rumored to deliver up to 1.2 petaflops, 1,200 teraflops of FP16 performance a significant increase from the 800 teraflops offered by the 910C. It's also expected to use a 5 nanometer process developed by China's SMIC, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, which while less advanced than TSMC's 4 nanometers used by Nvidia, marks progress in domestic chip making. Huawei may also introduce improved packaging methods to reduce latency between chiplets possibly bringing it closer to NVIDIA's monolithic designs. While Huawei works on the 910D, NVIDIA is preparing to release the Rubin platform in 2026. This platform is expected to double the memory bandwidth of the H100 and introduce HBM4 memory in a new Vera CPU. Rubin will use 3D packaging and likely include optical interconnects, which will boost data speeds while cutting power usage. If NVIDIA meets these targets, the Rubin chips will be even more efficient and powerful than the H100. Huawei's challenge will be matching that level of innovation while dealing with supply chain limits and lower fabrication yields from SMIC. Without access to extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography machines, SMIC still lags behind TSMC in chip density and power efficiency, which could slow Huawei's progress. Huawei's Ascend 91C is a formidable competitor in the AI chip market particularly within China. It offers competitive performance and energy efficiency, 
making it an attractive option for certain applications. However, when it comes to large-scale AI model training and global market penetration, NVIDIA's H100 remains the dominant choice. The upcoming Ascend 91D could narrow this gap, but Huawei faces significant challenges in terms of software ecosystem and manufacturing capabilities. In the end, the battle between Huawei and NVIDIA in the AI chip market is shaping up to be a long-term competition, with each company leveraging its strengths to carve out its niche. What do you think? Will Huawei's Ascend chips be able to challenge NVIDIA's dominance in the AI chip market? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.